Let's say there's a previous partner on earth. This is yourself. The spirit of this partner has spirits around him. Right? You were in the relationship at some point with this previous partner. This man has lots of, say, rage towards you. These spirits, if they can, they will actually project their rage towards you and try to influence you as well. Right? Now again, if the lady here allows herself to feel her emotions of why she accepts rage from men and digs underneath that and, and starts to feel some of her emotions about being oppressed and being, um, you know, the ways she feels with men, unloved, unwanted and so forth, if she releases those emotions, this projection will have no influence whatsoever. And spirits go away when they know they've got no influence anymore. They only stick around you when they know they can influence you. Because that's where they get their joy from. If you could call it joy, right? But that's where they get the feeling of power from. So, so the key is, again, always for the person who's the object of the rage to experience their emotions about it, because it's a law of attraction at work still. But you are right. Spirits with a person who's been in a past relationship can certainly influence you in your current relationship even through this connection that you have. Yeah. Thank you.